we have a top 10 list of the wide receivers in yep. the uh, combine this year. Are there any names other than the, the Minnesota Gophers that we just covered that stand out at the wide receiver position for you? Oh, yeah. I mean, for sure. I, I, I think everybody, for some reason, some people have C.D. Lamb ahead of Jerry Judy. I don't see that. I think Jerry, Jerry Judy's Judy, my favorite. Yeah, I think Jerry Judy reminds me of Stephon Diggs for the fact that he has a, you know, he's 6'1", runs a 4'4". Alabama. Um, has the speed, uh, has the catching ability, has the stop and go ability that Stephon Diggs kind of has. Um, another name that I like is T. Higgins. I don't know if he's on that list. Oh, he yeah, is. they have yep. like 30. number 30. They have 30. I like him higher than that for the simple fact of one, he's a junior. He played with a top quarterback that actually had other weapons, and they ran the crap out the ball, too. So they, they weren't did. like a pass happy team like LSU was. And so that's why I think he, to me, is better than Justin Jefferson, just a little bit because Justin Jefferson had never had to deal with man to man. If you watch that game, uh, the National Championship game, it's four receivers running down the field, and one okay. guy's going to come wide open. Oh, okay. And yeah, yeah, you know what? Three touchdowns in the first, you know, early start of the game and blah, blah. But I think T. Higgins, to me, at 6'4, is just a guy that can come in and be kind of like a Mike Williams, but you need to use him. Um, I, 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 that's where I see him being like a jump ball, big receiver, possession type guy. Uh, but a guy that, that people are high on that I'm not is Chenault. I just think coming out of Colorado, yep, yep he's fast, he's explosive. I just look at some of his gimmicky routes. Um, I like KJ Hamler. I think KJ Hamler to me reminds me of, of uh, Penn State. Uh, yeah, of Tyreek Hill. And when they came here and played the Gophers, that was one thing that everybody was scared of. Yeah. The one thing that, that KJ Hamler, he has to go to, and it could happen because he's low down on the list, he has to go to a team like the Chiefs. Or the Rams. I mean, I watched him in the Gophers game. He took the top off. Their quarterback just had a bad day. Like yes, he, he under did. with an interception. The first interception to to, to uh, Antoine Winfield should have been a touchdown if he throws it up. You got five eight on six four, and you throw the ball behind the receiver. That was dumb. And then the second interception to, to him, same thing. You throw it to the end zone and not you try to back shoulder him. Winfield can't pick it off. So. Their quarterback had a bad day. I think that was the biggest issue with him. But K.J. Hamler took the top off a bunch. And so you end up with a guy like Mahomes. Um, you end up with a guy like even if he goes to the Saints because the yep. Saints take in, who knows what they're going to do with that. They need water And they need a guy sure. that can take the top off. That's another yep. landing spot. They already have a big guy. They need a speed guy. So, But that's the Chiefs, Rams, because at his spot, you know, 46, um, you know, option – that second, third round, so you could end up possibly with any of those teams because that's later in the draft. So yeah. I think that fits better for him. But you can see someone like him, somebody sneaking in like a Patriots who are looking oh, to yeah. reload, right? Oh, yeah. He's the kind of guy that all of a sudden he walks in the door and they turn him into just a monster. Yeah. And as long as, like you were talking about before, right place, right time, right fit, right scheme. All these guys that are on this list can potentially be monsters. Moving yeah, forward. with Tom Brady's ability, I think you know him going to the Patriots could be another sneaky one yeah, too. Because they've help. they've turned those little receivers in the slot to Pro Bowlers. Yep. So Julian yeah. Edelman coming yeah, exactly. out of nowhere. <laughs> yep. Tyler, it's going to be where do the other receivers fall? Same thing with me. It was where do the other because they have him. Are at there ninth. similarities between Tyler and you? Uh he's faster. He's quicker. Uh, yeah. But yeah, definitely I could see it. You know, his, his his catch radius is not as wide as mine. My arms are longer. Um, his jumping ability is is he has a higher vertical. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I will see. I was a 37. We'll see where he falls. Um, but the the biggest thing for him is, and I was bigger. I mean, I was 230 at one point, 228. He's I think he's coming in barely at 205, um, and he's 6'1". I was 6'3". So a little bit of similarities though. But he definitely has a burst. He definitely has ability to get behind the defense. Um, he definitely Man, has he showed that all year. It. Yeah. So it, and and they have him right now. Draft him as a backup, like as a third, uh, a BC Johnson type guy, but has the ability to be a starter one day. And so again, it's going to be on which team really needs a true either number two or number three receiver. That's like, hey, we we have. Did you space. see the Vikings hopping in there with? The guy I could. Like that? I mean, if he's there in the third or fourth round, I don't see why not. I think BC now comes into camp as three. You know, he comes in as four or five, and so if they can if they can sneak in a guy like Tyler in the third round. I don't see why you don't do it because I, I've talked to some scouts and I know the Vikings like him. Um, awesome. It's just about do they want to get him at the price they're going to have to pay to get him. And it comes down to offensive guard. I think offensive guard, offensive tackle, and then cornerback have to be a precedent. You got one more thing to add before we go? I was going to say make sure to check out Ron on Twitter, at 3Ron Johnson, at 3Ron Johnson. And uh, thank you again for all your time oh, today. No, I appreciate it. Was awesome. Yeah, and there's a good story on there this week with my dad uh, with the Players Tribune. So I, I caught that. That was yeah. amazing. So uh, kudos to you guys for all the work that you did on that. I appreciate it.